Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? So this is my in conclusion video for the month of September where I wrap up all the books that I've read this month and as you guys know I chose September as banned books month. Let's talk about the first book I read this month and that is on the absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian by Sherman Alexi, art by Ellen Forney. I gave this book a readable rating. I really really enjoyed this book. What I forgot to mention in my review that there was a lot of cultural and racial issues going on in this book. That's another reason of why it was challenged is because of racism. Also, if you guys have read The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, I highly recommend checking out The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. Also, Charlie's character reminded me of Junior's character and vice versa. Definitely check this out, guys. It's probably my second most favorite book this month, for sure. And so the second book I read this month, guys, is The Catcher and the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I really enjoyed this book as well. This is the first classic I've read in a long, long time, maybe since grade school. I can't even remember the last classic I read which is pretty bad. Some of you guys suggested for me having a classics month. I might definitely consider that for sure. I also got a lot of comments on my review on how annoying Holden was. You know I do know where you guys are coming from. I could see that in Holden's character for sure but what kind of intrigued me about Holden's character was male's perspective and how he saw other people and just different issues other than girls and relationships and Holden's character does talk about relations a little bit in the book also but he had other things to say about his peers and what annoyed him. Holden's character is very contradictory in what he says and his actions. You know he was trying to pass off as an adult but he is disgusted by adult behavior and you know he wants to grow up but he is holding on to innocence. You know after reading the book I was trying to rack my brain on if I've seen any references regarding the book and I haven't really. But I was also surprised on how there wasn't a movie movie based on the book yet. As you guys know, there are so many movie adaptations coming out and you know today I saw three trailers, one for the money, John dies at the end, and extremely loud and incredibly close. Those are three books already. Anyways guys, I gave The Catcher in the Rye a readable rating. I really did like it. I thought Holden was hilarious. He killed me. It really came together at the end. Just great coming of age story for sure. Next guys is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I really like this book. It was a very fast-paced, intense read. There was a lot of events going on in Charlie's life. All in one year, I must say. I thought that was very overwhelming. I thought it was a very good read. Charlie, oh my gosh, how in was he. Charlie was very naive in this book at 15 years old. I couldn't believe it. That kind of took away from the realistic aspects as well, I think. I just couldn't believe it. And on the topic of book to movie adaptations, you guys know The Perks of Being a Wallflower is being made into a movie with Emma Watson. Emma's playing the character of Sam and that is going to be like, whoa, quite the departure from Hermione's character in Harry Potter. So I can't wait to see how she is. I'm very interested to see how the movie is going to be formatted, if it's going to be narrated by Charlie, if the letters are going to come into play during the movie. Also guys, when I posted up the Perks of Being a Wallflower review, you guys noticed my little banner on the top of my channel and I just wanted to thank you guys for all the sweet and lovely and kind comments about me receiving partnership. Woohoo partnership! And I could, you know, replace my derpy thumbnail photos and you guys don't have to be embarrassed for me by seeing those in your inboxes. As you guys know, the last book review I did is On Speak by Laurie Hells Anderson. I really, really enjoyed this book. My favorite book out of the month and definitely a standout for me in the year. Speaking of book to movie adaptation, Speak was turned into a movie with Kristen Stewart. I checked out the trailer. It looks really good. Kristen Stewart looks so young in that film. Oh my goodness, I can't believe she is Bella Swan. Anyways, yeah, I loved Melinda Sordino's voice in the book. I thought she was snarky and sarcastic. As you guys know, I love love that voice, but I was conflicted while reading it because, you know, even though I really love that snarkiness, I wasn't too sure if that was innate to Melinda's personality or if that was something that developed after the incident that happened to her. As far as the band Books Month and how I thought it went, I thought it was incredible. Very powerful, very emotional and moving reads. It was very shock and awe for the majority 
majority of the books. The Absolutely True Diary, The Perks of Being a Wallflower Speak, there's racism, alcoholism, family drama, sex, drugs, being an outcast, being isolated, being bullied. All these issues are great to read about. They're just showing others that they are not alone and what they're going through. So I thought that was really great. You know, something everyone can identify and relate to. What I really enjoyed most was that along with the bad, there was the good. You could get through it with the right support you have around you. So that's everything guys. I have to go to the bookstore still and pick out my books for the month of October. I have a theme already picked out. You guys will probably know what it's going to be. It's October. Enough said. It's just the specific books that I want to read. There, I have like 10 on the list. There's different kind of books in this category and it's just insane. Okay guys, that's everything. I will talk to you later. October book haul, hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully I can get out of the bookstore alive, you know, with some really awesome books. So I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye. I'm using this board to do my lighting. See? Difference? No, never. Whoa. Cool, huh?